right now. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope some of that went out over the air. If not, it should be uh, coming soon. I started it just in the nick of time because these kittens are checking each other out for the very first time ever. Hi, buddy. Are you looking at me for some safety? It's okay. We're all friends here. I know you guys are going to be friends. You look like you could be brothers already. He's a lot smaller than they are, though. I think you can tell by just kind of looking at his length. He's like this. Uh, so that's the new kitten, Bill, as I was explaining in the close-up that just started a minute ago. I don't, I hope, fingers crossed, this one won't go out since I'm not walking all around the house. We're just going to sit here. This is going to be Bill's close-up today. I'm not going to talk to anybody about how we need people to go to our website at kitten.academy with no W's and no comms to adopt kittens. Using our application, you'll find there on the website, kitten.academy. I'm not going to mention that even. Uh, it's not even going to come up. Instead, we're just going to talk about Bill today. Oh, hi, Custard. I guess somebody didn't get that door all the way closed, huh? All right, well, we might as well keep meeting. But I am going to close the door so nobody else joins us. Oh, hang on. You're going to close the door, everybody. There you go. Thanks, YouTube. You got it. And meanwhile, I'm going to sit right here in front of the floor camera in case anybody's watching on the regular stream. So... All right, uh, what am I going to tell you? I need to talk to you about Bill, little tiny Bill, as you can see. Uh, and we're hoping that he can live with the petty cash kittens. Guys, uh, you've been living here rent-free, all this food, all this board. Eventually, you knew the Bill was going to come. Well, here he is, and uh, he's about four weeks old, according to Dr. K. I only just met him myself, so you guys have seen him exactly as much as I have, honestly. Um, although I did lift him, I picked him up. You guys can't really do that. Custard's just going to keep eating this whole time. Come on, buddy. Play with a toy or something. Do something uh, more productive there. Um, I did pick him up, and he is a pear. I mean, his, his chest is so tiny, I can touch my fingers all the way around it, you know, like this. Um, but then right here, I, I can't. He's, he's got like this giant pear-shaped belly. And the doc, um, I was just explaining before I started the close-up, uh, that the doc um, was texting me about him. So he, he came, uh, so, okay, let me rewind just a second. He came to um, our doctor, Katz, at Aristocats in Fairfield yesterday, and she texted me uh, immediately, I think, and said she had a kitten that needed to be uh, bottle-fed, and would I be interested in taking just the one kitten that someone had brought in that day and that he seemed like he was probably perfectly healthy. Uh, and I had said, well, you know, um, I want to take the kitten, obviously. But, you know, after last time, maybe we could, uh, you know, let him be observed by you for 24 hours. And then we'll take him uh, just to make sure he's healthy. So that's what happened. She took him home. He stayed last night with our vet, Dr. Katz. Uh, she was keeping an eye on him to make sure he was healthy. She discovered he didn't need to be bottle fed after all. I'm sure you guys have discovered that as well. Uh, he seems like he's eating just fine. He's got a lot of worms probably to feed in his belly right now, thus the pear shape. So, I've been texting back and forth with Dr. K, uh, Dr. Katz at Aristocats, uh, about this little guy since yesterday. And the point that I was getting to is that since we've been speaking by text, what she's told me is that, uh, you know, I, we were discussing picking him up today from her since he was healthy and she said he was good. And she said that he was too small to give a leukemia test to yet, yeah, like, you know, we would normally do for a mom cat. That's fine. We'll give him one later. Um, but she also said that she would deform him, which, you know, it's text. I'm, I'm positive that what she was trying to type was that she was going to deworm him. But I thought it was really funny that, uh, that she said deform because uh, I guess... I guess because it's fine, and because he's pear-shaped. And we need to reform him by deworming him. Oh man, it all comes together. So uh, so anyway, little Bill, uh, I can't really tell you anything about uh, him besides what I just did because I don't know anything else. I didn't ask her how he came to her. I know, you know, I'm in there all the time, and uh, especially this summer, it seems like. Maybe it's because they changed locations. But uh, every time I'm in there this summer, it feels like someone has brought them some cat or some kitten or some kittens. And uh, so that doesn't seem at all unusual. Um, and uh, so that's what happened. Somebody brought them this little guy, Bill. And she said, like I said, uh, she said he's four weeks old. I don't know. I haven't weighed him, but he is much smaller than they are. So 
I do think uh, four weeks sounds just about right, as considering he's eating, he's smaller. Uh, I would buy that. I think he'll be able to hang out with them just fine. He seems fine for his part. Um, and uh, they seemed a little suspicious at first, but I do think they're going to be fine for their part. Now, I don't know if any of you heard me mention this one, since we're on a topic of uh, deforming kittens right now. Um, somebody in this room, and I, I, I'm not entirely sure who, but I'm sure it's all of them. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter which one has been doing it today, because if, you, if one of them is doing it, all of them are. But somebody's been vomiting up uh, roundworms today and uh, would like the worm visible. So at that point, you're like, oh, well, okay, that's a thing that's happening. It's not unusual. We've had it happen a million times, and as far as it goes, roundworms are one of the ones that are sort of less offensive. They just look like, um, I don't know, uh, little bits of, I'd say, string. I don't, I don't even know what to compare them to. Um, alfalfa sprouts, kind of, except they're usually kind of curled up like a, like a spiral, if, you had, if, if they came in spiral shapes. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying. So anyway, that's not the point. The point is uh, that I've seen a few of those today, and uh, you'll probably end up seeing a few of them yourself uh, if you're watching real close. Uh, sorry about that, but we will be giving these kittens their deformers, um, so uh, we'll make sure that that gets taken care of. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is start them on it. Well, I don't know. I'll probably start them on it tonight. I was thinking tomorrow, and that way I could just get Bill on the same schedule, if it's going to be a schedule. But I wonder if it's something we can get done in one dose. I have to check. I can never remember which one's the best for the roundworms. So I'll figure it all out. Don't worry. So I think Bill's uh, still just chowing down. Buddy, hey, buddy. You know, maybe that's why he's pear-shaped. Maybe it's not even the worms. He just doesn't know when to quit. Why don't we why don't we try why don't we try being social a little more? Because I know I know you just had a big poop in the car. DJ told me you had a big poop in your carrier. I know, I know. I know. Why don't you just slow down a little bit though? Because I know we probably have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to eating food, but we gotta wait. And I really want to know how he's going to do with everybody since, you know, I would like to leave, oh my goodness, his belly now. I thought it was big and swollen a minute ago. Now he's stuffed it with food. It's twice as much. Oh, it's crazy. Here, stand up for us, buddy. Show us how deformed you are. Uh, I got to stop saying deformed. It's just too silly. Deformer. Buddy, that's, I don't think we can really tell because he's definitely like a little floof, isn't he? Somebody on, uh, yeah, wow, I guess you might be able to tell, though. I think you can tell. But he's, he seems like he's definitely going to be along here. I mean, there's, there's not really any question. Huh. Somebody on Discord I saw earlier uh, already had called him Fluffalo Bill, which I thought was very cute. Hey, what's going on back there, Custard? Custard's got a fan. That must be our floof, right, Quid? Not looking so floofy all of a sudden, are you, Quid? I guess he still looks pretty floofy, but I think Bill here is going to give him a, a run for his floofening. <laughs> so um, I again set my camera in the way where the chat, chat is so tiny that I can hardly see it. I forgot to change my font. I just didn't come very prepared for this, but that's okay, right? Uh, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll squint a little bit when I'm ready to try to read what you're doing. I heard this jingling, so he must be over here playing too. So he's just full on uh, kitten, like he's just a guy, a uh, big old single bachelor kitty, just living his life at four weeks old, apparently. He can feed himself, he can play, he's not particularly, you know, anxious to be in my lap or know that I'm going to hang out with him, doesn't care about the other kittens that are in the room, big or small. Just, uh, yeah, hey. Whatever, man. I'm Bill. I've been doing this for a while now. I've been, I, I, not like I was born yesterday, okay? I've been doing my thing for, for some time. Yeah, like four weeks, man. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about. He is so cute, all right? <laughs> So 
So what do you think of the big kid, Bill? Uh, in case you don't remember, um, so, you know, Bill, you just met him, of course, and then these are his, we're hoping this, this will all be his new family. So these are his two sisters. This is Dabloons and Farthing. Uh, Dabloons, Farthing, those are the two girls. They are a little closer to seven, uh, maybe going on eight weeks now, I think. So a little bit older than he is, but as they get, uh, you know, he's, he's just going to get, uh, Closer to them, you know, as they get older, it's a, he's just gonna uh, that that gap is gonna matter less and less. Oh, speaking of gaps that matter, somebody did get sick, oh, and I see it's still on them a little bit. Um, I brought that tripod up here, didn't I? This is a good chance to use it. Hey, buddy, you want to work the camera for a second while I clean a kitten? Yeah, somebody's got a little gross over there. We don't want to end the close up just because of that, do we? Not yet, anyway. Oh, hang on though. Man, I'm so sorry, everybody. I know. Here, you watch this for a minute, okay? And I'm gonna find a wipe, which I don't, I think, oh man. It's one thing, it's another. I think there's gotta be some wipes over here though, right? This is where they would be. A score. Score. Buddy, come here, what is that? Did you sit in something? Did you get some poops? Did you find some worms in here? No, none of the above. They were also vomiting up cheese from an extended visit with their mom earlier where they all got the nurse. So I should probably talk about that a little bit. Their mom, Till, has been, I guess, sort of officially moved to my office. That's where she lives now. And uh, she's over there right this minute. And she is actually really, I think it's really working out for her. She seems like she's enjoying her life. And I think that um, the, 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 with the, the less stress of not really needing to be in here and have the kittens making demands on her all the time, she's eating better. Um, she's starting to poop a little better. Most of her stuff is going where it belongs now. Uh, I wish I could say she's 100%, but, you know, these things take time. Nothing changes overnight, so she's still got a little bit of work to do. But getting better every day and she does come in to visit them fairly regularly um, which is what I was alluding to a second ago uh, they were all nursing quite a bit this morning I've been trying to get them to stop so that she can just stop completely but you got to kind of taper down to quit you know uh, especially for her sake and so that's what we've been doing and they all came in here and nursed quite a bit earlier today and then there were some cheese vomits that's what you get when it's uh, on the kittens part also time to quit uh, not every kitten goes through that stage. We have some kittens that are able to nurse, you know, uh, as long as they want with no real negative consequence. And then you have some where they keep nursing and uh, they vomit up cheese. So it seems like we got the cheese crew here. And some of that could be, of course, down to the worms, too. They could all come together and that's fine because um, we're going to take care of both things. This is, uh, again, a farthing. Okay, uh, the balloons, and then I didn't quite introduce the boys yet, but you got the two boys over there. I don't even have to get up, I can just, you know, but can I point when I'm zooming? Oh, look at that, that's a little trickier. All right, these are our two boys then. This is uh, Quid and Ledger. Quid, Ledger, Farthing, the balloons, and I guess their very American brother, Bill. Look at his little, so you can see what a round little boy he is from here, can't you, from this angle? That's Bill is just watching, and he's watching his sister, his new sister, just flip out. You know, he wants to be part of that, though, doesn't he? What do you think, buddy? You ready for all that? So uh, for their part, his new brothers and sisters are doing very well. They are all pooping and uh, peeing successfully in the litter box, and they're ready to go downstairs anytime today. Uh, I think maybe in the last close-up I did, I, I was saying that I wanted to clean up the rooms downstairs for them so they could get moved and do that sooner rather than later. Of course, I did not do that today, and it wasn't even because of Bill as much as it was because uh, I was busy 
um, uh, rearranging some computer stuff. So uh, that reminds me, though, that uh, I did I did want to mention um, that uh, when I do talk about those cats getting adopted, you know, uh, I, I do want you to know that that yeah, we're looking for adopters, but they're fine to stay here as long as they need it. It's not like uh, I don't want you to think that anything's gone wrong here, uh, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, everything's, the kittens are uh, going to be adopted when they get adopted. And until then, I am so happy to have them here. I think Bill's trying to find his way back to the food. Because that's his thing. Look at that floof, though. Is that just too much? So that's Quid. He's the uh, the resident floof. Oh no, Custard, you're in the way. They're meeting. Oh, floof and resident floof. New floof, old floof. Look out, Custard. Oh, oh my goodness, buddy. That is not fit for YouTube. Okay. Look at that. Hey, guys. It's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Okay, kind of. Scraggly mirror. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't know, I like the big guy better. The big guy smells like food. I said, I don't really know what else to say because I'm, uh, you know, I'm here for the big draw bill, just like all of uh, you are, I suppose. And I haven't met him any more than you have. So I'm just watching and waiting like you are. <laughs> What's he going to do? Hang on. I got to move and I've got one on my foot. So this is farthing again. Not like she couldn't deal with it if I just decided to move. But there we go. So, buddy, have you seen any cat toys lately? You want to play with something? Or have you seen any litter boxes lately? I know you pooped on the way here. That's why I haven't tried to put him in there yet. Normally, I would try to get them uh, put in the litter box right away um, when when a new kitten arrives or when we take them to the spa for the first time or, or every time. Uh, what I'll try to do is put them uh, in the litter box and then let them leave from there. That way we know they know where the litter box is. Of all things, right? So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a part of what we'll do. And I'm sure I'll do it for him as soon as we're done with the close-up. You don't have to see him in the litter box, and I don't think he's in any urgent need since, like I said, he pooped on the way here. DJ said it was a good poop. Okay, buddy. I don't know exactly what he's looking for, though. I'm sure he doesn't either. So that's Ledger and Farthing. Custard here uh, is unrelated. <laughs> He's just one of our kittens. And back here I see Quid. Oh, that was Quid who just zoomed by. And up on top of the cactus thing is uh, our sister, um, uh, Dubloons. And I see that we're just about to get another interaction here. Sorry, Dubloons, I gotta look at that. Quid again. I think Quid recognizes Floof. Hey, Floof recognizes Floof, buddy. That's probably why he's in the part of the uh, welcoming Quid Midi. Uh, man, there's something right there. Did I get it? Is that it? Quid Midi? The welcoming Quid Midi? I don't know, man. I feel like I'm missing it by that much. I think Quid is, is definitely likes this kid already, though. Either that or Quid's just like, oh, you brought us a new toy. It's very interactive. Hard to say.
I do want to see if uh, he can meet Till. Oh, sorry for that extra shakiness there. Uh, I do want to see if he can meet Till and if she even would let him nurse. But first off, uh, that's going to not happen right this second. And um, secondly, I'll just I'll set some expectations and say my experience is that uh, you know they're just they're not going to learn to nurse on a strange cat at this point in their lives when they don't really need to anyway. But since they're still, the kids are still getting a chance to do that once in a while, we might give him a chance to just to see what happens, you know. Since she's not entirely cut off yet. If she's willing to be friends with him at all, which I hope she is, is willing to just treat him like one of the other kittens, and then we won't have to separate him when she gets to visit her kids. I'm not talking about you, Custard. We know. He just He's just off doing his own thing. Like, seriously, he does not uh, seem to mind at all the fact that, you know, he's in a strange place and the only person he even kind of knows is just over here. He's just going to go wander around. A very grown-up little four-week-old boy. What you looking at, Bill? You gonna come over here? Come on, buddy. No? I just I love watching him deliberate. Uh, do I do I go this way or that way? This way or okay? I got to squeeze through here. I can't just go out in the open space. I have to squeeze through this tiny little space. My giant pear shaped body. Got to wedge it right through there. <laughs> What are you thinking, little bud? He seems to be kind of drawn to that toy. The, this is the Sage's Handmade Bunny from Sage's Handmade on Etsy. That's Sage, S-A-G-E, and then Handmade, like made by hand uh, on Etsy. She makes these bunnies for all of our little mom cats and they're wonderful. It must smell like a mom cat because he was kind of like, or something. I don't know. He seems like he was really feeling it for a minute. That was going to be his safe spot. We've already moved on from there. Oh, what's that other kitty doing? What is he doing? Oh, that's your buddy Quid again. Wow, these two instant buddies. It's like, here, look at this. We should weigh these kittens while we're here. Um, I think it's important for us to get an initial weight on Bill, even though uh, it's going to be real weird considering he's got that pear-shaped belly and he pooped and he ate and, you know, who knows. But we'll get it, we'll get it figured out what his baseline is over time. So uh, let's take a weight here, and that's under this pile of blankets for no good reason. So let's put it here and we'll just grab one of those pile of blankets to uh, make this a little more pleasant perhaps. All right, Quid seems like he's more scared of things happening in this room than Bill is. Bill's just sitting here and Quid was like, stop throwing things around. Well, Bill's just like, yeah, cool, yeah, whatever, okay. Hello. So, any predictions? What do you think Bill weighs? I know you guys can't pick him up, but you can see him. You can tell how floofy he is. You know, he's about four weeks. Um, but if I pick him up, hmm, 
tough call right there. I think he's a little shy of 16 though. I think he's gonna be he's gonna be coming in a little under 16. I think 16 is the over under for him. That's uh, one pound, 16 ounces. Let's start with him. Come on, buddy. You're the one. You're up first. Let's find out, all right? All right, we're going to find out. Here we go, right here. On the scale, pal. Bill is, well, 14.6, but uh, the scale is a little wobbly. Let's, let's just make sure that we get it on a flat oh, level level spot and then uh, we'll take that again to be positive but it, it works pretty well even when it's wobbly so I think 14.6 sounds about right also let's find out here buddy let's see 14.6 right there oh, no, no don't don't run away yet he's got that down yep 14.6 so there you go a little less than a pound a bill's worth a little less than a pound these days uh, I don't know what that means But we should weigh the rest now that we're into it. So this is doubloons. Wow, you're getting so big. Look at your nose. Okay, sit right here for a second, doubloon. 24.8. So just a little bit of a difference. Of course, if there were a 10 ounce difference between two of our cats, we wouldn't even know. So the older they get, the less that's going to matter. Uh, 24.8. I'm so glad we looked back at her to get that yawn in. Speaking of yawns, hey, let's just wait you kids real quick. We'll put you right back, okay? First you farthing. Oh man, I should have moved a little closer. Oh man, oh, that was some reach. You are a far thing. Well, not anymore. <clears throat> yeah, okay, just put, put it on the counter how many times I've made that exact joke. Uh, okay, it's not zero. <laughs> Uh, let's see. No, it's probably more than that too. 24.6 is what I'm seeing. So that's our little farthing. And there you go, girls. Oh, you know what, farthing? That's rude. I'm going to put you back where I found you and pick up your brother, Ledger, perhaps. Oh, oh, yep. Okay. I, I know. You look like I woke you up, pal. Oh, because I did. Sit right here and we'll put you right back, okay? Don't even wake up for it. 23.8. Okay, 23.8. That's what we're going to write down. All right back here, grumpy boy. He's just so passive, though. <laughs> oh. He's going to be like, yeah, all right, all right, okay. We'll be back when you're ready. I think that leaves you. Isn't this going to be quid under here by elimination? Hey, so it is, quidly. All right. Okay, just for completeness, we got to lift you up. There you go. Put you right there. Treat you fair. 27, 9, or 8. Uh, yeah, okay. You guys can decide. 27, 9, 27, 9, 5, 28, whatever you guys want to put in. You know, I go over too, pal. Is that what you're grumpy about? <laughs> That's good. Okay, you're being good. You've got such a silly, grumpy face. He's not a grump at all, though. He purrs. He loves his people. Like, you can tell he really loves people but he's just got that face the resting little grump face bill i hope you didn't just poop in there did you because i smell something what am i smelling do you need to see the litter box now i don't see any poop hi what are you looking at oh wow that's okay hi hi camera okay what do you think Is he winding up to go and pounce on him? Quick, go get him. <laughs> now, I don't know if I'm ready to just leave him in here unsupervised quite yet. I'll be keeping a real close eye until I'm sure that, you know, he can... He's not going to get sort of uh, bullied by them, even un unintentionally. So he might end up spending a little time in the spa if, if we're not actively keeping an eye on him, even if he could be here, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, that way it's easier for us to just sort of make sure he's cool until we know for sure. So if you're looking around, uh, you know, in 20, 30 minutes on the stream and you don't see him, I wouldn't panic. He's probably uh, just hanging out with us someplace else. But I do need to wrap this up. 
Uh, I got to get myself some food and figure out what everybody else is doing and maybe see about getting little Bill there uh, introduced to Till. It's some Bill and Till. Oh, my goodness. Did we do that? Well, too late now. Um, all right. Well, hey, look, uh, thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed meeting our newest kitten. And no, I said I wasn't going to talk about that. So if you want to keep watching these kids, come on down to come on down to the Kitten Academy live stream on uh, YouTube. You know what that's all about. All right. All right. I'm done now talking like I'm at some kind of county fair. So 